The final day of the Cup signing to see unfolded in rain, mud and mist for most of the day. The reverse order starts or the elite racing category start at 9am from Jollyvet Farm as they headed down to the finish at Scottbrook Golf Club. Team DSV Arno de Troy and Claire Taines held a four minute lead over defending champions Phil Bates and Matthijs Bierkes of Pago Eurosteel. On a dry day, that deficit would be nigh on impossible to pull back over the 82 kilometres. Very tough on a muddy day. It's a fast day with 750 metres of climbing, but thick mist, mud and rain contributed to a hugely challenging morning for all. The first tough climb of the day provided a platform for Haynes and Detroit to launch an attack on Clint's climb. The treacherous conditions led to a number of casualties amongst the front runners. Alan Gordon of Insect Science's second team had a huge fall. Fortunately, the hard man from Tanin was able to recover enough to remount and go on to finish the stage alongside CPF and Vake. The rolling hills and aggressive riding by Team DSV over the second half of the stage saw them pull away once more as they closed in on the Ellingham Trails. On the N2 highways section, Phil Bass of Pige Eurostil hit a bridge hard and suffered a pinched flat to his back wheel. And fearful of the fast chasing insect science team cutting their lead down, rode on a flat back wheel all the way home. The DSV pair were first across the floating bridge in Scottborough. And they were first onto the Scottborough Golf Course first fairway as they put the finishing touches to a superb three days of riding to claim the overall win. Yeah, I think uh, from day one it really went 100% according to plan for us. We've tried three years now, we've, we've come close but there's always been some issues so it's really good to finally pull it off for DSV and to get the win. In the women's race team, Dorma Carver's Robin de Kruid and Amy McDougall had a similarly big advantage going into the stage over Galilea Risk's Infinities, Teresa Ralph and Sarah Hill. De Kruid and McDougall also used Clint's climb through the Blue Gum Forest to attack and from there they steadily opened the lead and were untouchable as they dealt with the slick, slippery trails immaculately. A flawless ride by De Groot and McDougall as Team Dormacaba successfully defended their title at the event. De Groot winning for the second year in a row, this time with Amy McDougall. Come in. 